Good morning. Today is Saturday, October 17th, and I'm up early because I'm taking Zayas to PT. And I went to bed late, kind of on purpose, so I'm be so tired in the morning. But I'm not like really super sleepy. It's probably gonna hit me later, but yeah. Good morning. Okay, y'all, so we went to Dun Dunkin' Donuts. I think Lee Keys is left in there somewhere on the table. I seen him set them down, and then, hold on. No? They're not on that table? Okay, I, might, I must have got them then. Let me look at my purse. Okay, we found them. Yeah, so we're at Dunkin' Donuts. And we got the um ghost pepper donuts. There they go. There they go right there. The lady was like, Y'all getting spicy donuts? Yeah, I want the spicy donuts. I'm like, yeah. She said it's it's like she couldn't believe somebody was buying them. It's weird. Ow. So, yeah, this Dunkin' Donuts here. We about to leave and see where our next destination. I just got like a cramp. I don't know what that is. Oh, I got me iced coffee and we got him a, um, what Double is shot it? shot espresso <laughs> without the coffee. <laughs> double. <Without> the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> he got a double shot of espresso with French vanilla and forgot to say inside right. of a large coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they gave it to him. He was like, what is this? Like you forgot to say the coffee. Oh, they got a pumpkin spice latte. That's oh, it was a latte is what I used to get. A French vanilla latte. I didn't think about but, the name. But of that's it. that's cold though. It yeah, used to be cold. But oh. I wanted that hot this time. So I guess that was the difference. Mmm, yep. They got the pumpkin spice, but I don't know how I feel about pumpkin. Maybe I should have tried that. The pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, Cause what decent, we tried one the last time. Yeah, maybe we should have. I got a, just a regular iced coffee, French vanilla. I shouldn't have had her put no sugar in this because y'all, this mug, I can't even drink it. I didn't even taste liquid sugar in mine. You what you got. You poured that in there? I gotta drink it down. Okay. He oh, gonna add some much spice on it. Heck no, you can have me bouncing. So, 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 so. Nah, I'm not bouncing, so. Mix it up a little bit. Um, like I told you earlier, we were dropping his ice off to his PT training. And over here, it's in Tucker. Is this Tucker, Florida or just Tucker? Florida. I don't know. I, I mean, is it Tucker, Georgia? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm still learning stuff or whatever. So, um, it was something when I came over here last time, I was like, oh, when we leave here, I'm going to go there. Uh, but I can't remember because it's early in the morning. It's early for us. It's like 8, 19. So it's early for us. Early in the morning, 41 oh my God, degrees. You saw he's swinging here? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. It's 41 degrees? 41 degrees. You talking about it? Yeah, when, okay, so when I'm freezing and it's, it's colder than this to me, like, I don't know, it's weird to me, Whitley, because. 41 degrees. It can be. It could be 39, leave be like, you ain't that cold. But then it'd be 50, it'd be like it's freezing. I don't, I don't get that, I don't understand that. But I'm not cold, to, I, I am cold today, scratch that. No, I'm not gonna say that. But it's not like it's cold as he's making it seem to me. Usually when I'm cold, he'll be like, this ain't nothing. I got anemia. You got what? Anemia. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Not a Nemo, but y'all, we're gonna try these ghost pepper donuts. I don't know when. I don't know when we're gonna try it, but we'll but try I it. I ain't know how stuff is. We, we's one hot. We um, one hot. well, I don't know. All right, I'll try next destination. So I'm back home and I'm about to start cooking. I'm gonna do a neck bone mukbang. So. Pretty sure y'all saw these um, in the grocery haul if you watched it when we went to the um, farmer's market. But, of course, I want some mojo in it. So, and then I got an onion. Then I'm going to grab some seasonings. And I'm going to put that in the Instant Pot. Then I'm going to make some macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese, I did it like that because it's a recipe that I saw. Quan Tran, he made it. And he was inspired by someone he saw for Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to make that today. I'm trying to debate whether I wanna do 
Oh, what's that? What is that? Trying to debate whether I want to do um, a cooking video on it or to show you guys how I make it or if I just want to include it in the vlog. I don't know. But I guess you'll see. I'll let you know in the end. Okay, guys. So I just went into my um, seasoning cabinet and this is what I chose for today to use. For my neck bones, I have some roasted garlic powder, onion powder. Y'all, I haven't had these in so long. I miss my Mrs. Dash. I have the table blend here. And then I also have the garlic and herb. I also have the original blend, but I'm not using that today. Then we have some moho rub. Have you ever seen this? Really good. Garlic pepper. Accent. And then I have lemon pepper, but there's like only a little bit there, so. I'm gonna use, I have bought a new one from out of the pantry. And then we have some nature seasoning. So I'm gonna use, oh, Sazon. How could I forget? The Goya Sazon is the best one, but the Badia one is really good as well. So, got my neck bones over here in my Instant Pot, and then I cut up some onions over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that together, and then I'll get started on the macaroni and cheese. So I got everything all seasoned up. I'm gonna go ahead and add some water and put this in the Instant Pot. Okay y'all, for the mac and cheese, I just decided that I'm gonna make it first and then, depending on how it turns out, then I'll see if I'll show you guys um, or do a cooking video, but I put little inserts in here since it's just a vlog. So anyway, here are the ingredients you're gonna need for the mac and cheese. You're gonna need some hot sauce, flour, heavy cream, onion powder, butter, ground mustard, black pepper, sea salt. I have some chicken stock here, but it's the dry kind, so you just add water to make it the stock. And spaghetti. Yes, I said spaghetti. <laughs> Let's see how this turns out. Okay, y'all, this is what it looks like. Don't know what it tastes like, but just trying it out for my first time. Again, I got this recipe from Quan Tran, and he got it from some cooks on Instagram. I don't know their name, but I'll insert it if I find it. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> Girl, got a little creation. I thought it was going to be nice. <laughs> but it turns out, it's one of the best creations over the last couple of years. Well, thank you. Y'all, I didn't think he was going to like it. I really didn't because mm -hmm. when I told him about the idea, he was just like, uh-uh. Uh -huh. So I cut him a square. Let me. With the cheese and stuff. Oh, yeah, and he was like, oh, that's too big. I'm just tasting. And it's so creamy. It's like it's creamy. <laughs> At first, when I first smelled it, I was like, it smelled like it was um, tuna in there. Or chicken. <laughs> Um, this is a chicken broth. Okay. Yeah. yeah so mm -hmm. chicken, and I, I was like, uh, it might taste a little funny. Then I did this right here. He did that, and y'all, I was just staring at him like, oh my god, he's gonna say it's nasty. He's gonna say it's nasty. Because y'all, I used that chicken broth that I showed y'all, mm -hmm. and I don't think I measured. I all the flavors. <laughs> really? I thought I uh, made it a little too strong. The chicken broth. I didn't think I made it loose enough or. Uh, put enough water to the powder content, even though I only used a little bit. So I was like, oh, I think I made it too salty, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I smell by itself. Yeah. I smell by itself. Oh, you can add like, um, you know how you like to add meat and stuff? Yeah, you can. You can, can or chicken or whatever. Yeah, just have a grilled chicken breast or something. Yeah. Or uh, ooh, even some, uh, ooh, some, uh, some nice seared salmon. Oh my God, I can't believe you like it, babe. Yeah, that's good. Okay, y'all, so I guess I'm going to show y'all, or I can just leave the link to Quan Tran. I did it like he did, except for uh, for the cheese, I didn't use the mozzarella cheddar. I just used the 
Monterey Jack Velveeta and um, it was a four cheese cheddar blend. That's what I use. So, Lee approves. So, y'all know if Lee approves what that means. Oh, yeah. It must mean something because <laughs> we ain't get to eat anything. Yeah, he not. Not at all. That's me. Welcome back. We deserve it. Because it was nasty. I, thought I, was, I really thought it was nasty. I know. You was looking at it like it's going to be nasty. I did. The whole time. Because I've only said that you want to make it. I know. I finally but, made hey. it. I've had this now, for like a couple for, weeks. I don't even know the name of it. The export again. I'm just gonna call it's it. It's macaroni and cheese with spaghetti pasta. That's call it. it the spaghetti mac. That's called the spaghetti mac. All right. You want the spaghetti mac? <laughs> That's the spaghetti mac for you. Mmm. Smell good. Yeah, I don't know. You can't go get macaroni and just pour macaroni on right now. <laughs> right now. It was hot. It is hot. Be careful. Gotta be careful. You almost burnt yourself the first time. Yeah. All right, vlog, so I'm getting ready to do a mukbang. So this is what it looks like. I got to set up, get ready to start filming. So yeah, that's probably gonna be the end of the vlog for this one. So I hope y'all like it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on T-Leezy Vlogs. Bye, y'all.